do you like ants in your peaches? If not, then stay tuned. Vegetate presents. Welcome to my garden. Every year we hit the little tiny peaches on our tree and the ants love to eat them up. And before we can ever get a chance to eat them, the peaches are overcome with ants. So this year we're going to try a little new trick. We learned this at the beekeeping class the other day. We're going to apply Tanglefoot to our peach tree this year to see if we can keep the ants at bay. And we're going to read the instructions and I'm going to have the kids follow the directions. And we're going to see if this year we can keep the ants out of our peaches. We use an old spatula that you can either clean off or throw away or don't, don't care if it gets dirty. You can clean it up with mineral spirits or citrus cleaners. We'll get it off your hands. But we're going to use gloves as well to keep the kids' hands clean. According to the directions, you have to place a barrier, a banner, around the tree. You cannot put Tanglefoot, even though it's organically certified, directly on the bark of any fruit or nut tree. So we're planning to apply a barrier with blue masking tape. And Aiden's going to get the other side. We figured this would be the best. So if one of them fails, we'll at least protect one side of the tree. Hopefully keep the ants maybe at bay. Okay, go ahead and wrap it around. Tape it to the tree. Aiden, a little higher up, baby. A little higher up. And don't enter, don't cross the streams. <laughs> After the end of the season, you have to remove the tape. Or if the tape falls off, you have to replace it again. Or if the ants completely cover the tango foot, you have to replace it as well. So that's why you want to use something temporary like this blue masking tape. Tape, keep it on the tape. Try to keep it on the tape. Take out. Seems to be working. It is a little messy to apply. It doesn't seem to stick to my fingers uh, like I would thought it would be. It's not sticky sticky. It actually rubs off. Um, but to the ants so far, they're already getting sticky and they do not like it. They seem to be confused by it and, and they're trying to figure out how to get around it. Um, uh, I do like the product. It's uh, pretty inexpensive. We'll see how long it lasts once the rain and the wind and the dust and the pollen hit on it and stick on it and see if the ants can get past it. Another option basically that I came across was the ants do try to figure out ways to get around it. So if you do not have it perfect, they will try to get around it. Um, so if the debris or other dead ants, they will literally find a trail of just the perfect little barely where they can walk to get it to the tree. So you have to keep an eye on this product to make sure that there is no loopholes for them to get around. That's very similar to caramel flavoring like you put on your ice cream. Actually, I think caramel, the caramel is actually thicker and stickier than this. Um, it was very interesting. I was shocked it wasn't that sticky. Um, so I'm wondering if air gets on it or rain will make it stickier or more tacky, if you will. It's not very tacky to the human skin. So anyway, that's just my, my reflections on the product and I'll follow up later on uh, to see how well things are going and we'll keep an eye on it. And I'll see if I recommend it by the end of the season. Caution. Keep out of reach of children. You're not a child, are you? What the hell? It grows things!